India's defense industry has just made global headlines, and for good reason. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, has signed a landmark agreement with U.S. aerospace giant General Electric, GE, for the supply of 113 F404G N20 jet engines, along with a complete support package tailored specifically for 97 LCA Tejas MK-1A fighter aircraft of the Indian Air Force. And make no mistake, this isn't just another engine deal. This is a strategic breakthrough, a massive leap toward India's dream of self-reliance in aerospace and defense technology. HAL, a cornerstone of India's aviation ecosystem for decades, has been the backbone of aircraft manufacturing and maintenance for the Indian Air Force. But this time, HAL's move represents something far bigger, a new era of Indian-made air power. The F404-GN20 engine delivers around 85 kilonewtons of thrust, giving the Tejas MK-1A incredible acceleration, agility, and high-altitude performance. Its compact design, easy maintenance, and exceptional thrust-to-weight ratio make it ideal for light fighters operating in extreme conditions. What makes this engine special for India is that it's custom-built for the country's environment, taking into account high temperatures, altitude, and monsoon conditions. So this isn't just an American import, it's made for India. The timing of this deal couldn't be more crucial. The Indian Air Force urgently needs new fighter squadrons as older fleets like the MiG and Jaguar retire. The Tejas MK-1A, powered by GE's F404-GN20 engines, will fill that gap, giving India's skies renewed strength and modern capability. General Electric has confirmed that it will deliver around 24 engines per year, meaning at least one full Tejas squadron can be built annually. For the first time, India has a steady and long-term engine supply chain, ensuring that the nation's fighter production never slows down. This deal is also a huge win for India's Make in India initiative. It strengthens the foundation for future technology transfer between GE and HAL, opening the door for local manufacturing of advanced jet engines in India. With this agreement, HAL won't just assemble planes, it will drive the future of India's aerospace innovation. The Tejas MK-1A is not only a fighter, it's a symbol of Indian engineering excellence. The upgraded Tejas Mark 1A isn't just light, it's lethal. It comes with Advanced AESA Radar Electronic Warfare Suite Beyond Visual Range BVR Missile Capability. And now, a next-gen GE engine together, these features make it a lightweight killer. A compact but deadly force multiplier for the Indian Air Force, the HAL-GE deal marks a turning point in India's defense history. It strengthens the Indian Air Force, accelerates HAL's production line, and positions India as a serious player in the global aerospace arena. India is no longer just a buyer. It's becoming a builder, innovator, and exporter of defense technology. This is more than a defense deal. It's the story of a nation rising on its own wings. Tejas takes flight. India takes pride. They say the future of a nation's power is not written in treaties. It's built in hangars. And today, inside India's hangars, a new revolution has begun. A revolution forged not in speeches, but in steel, sweat, and jet engines. Because India's own HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, has just signed a historic pact with General Electric, America's aerospace powerhouse. The deal? 113 state-of-the-art F404G and 20 jet engines. The mission? To fuel India's pride. The Tejas Mark I, a fighter jet. This is the story of how India's dream of self-reliance in defense just took flight and how one deal could change the global balance of air power. When the announcement came, it sent shockwaves across the entire defense world, not because of the number, 113 engines, but because of what it symbolized. For decades, India relied on imported aircraft, foreign engines and external suppliers. But with this deal, HAL and GE have forged a partnership that goes beyond numbers, it's about technology, trust, and transformation. The F404-GN20 isn't just another piece of machinery. It's one of GE's most reliable engines, a trusted heart that has powered some of the world's most successful fighter jets. And now, this same technology is being customized for India, fine-tuned for its unique geography, climate, and mission profile. High temperatures, monsoon humidity, Himalayan altitude, this engine has been built to handle it all. So what makes this engine so special? The F404-GN20 produces 85 kilonewtons of thrust, 
That's enough to push a 13-ton fighter jet through the skies at over Mach 1.6, faster than the speed of sound. Its thrust-to-weight ratio is among the best in its class, meaning Tejas can accelerate faster, climb higher, and maneuver harder in dogfights. And here's the beauty. Despite its power, it's compact, lightweight, and easy to maintain. For pilots, that means reliability. For engineers, that means efficiency. And for the nation, that means readiness. This engine isn't built for luxury. It's built for survival. In a region surrounded by unpredictable threats, it ensures India's skies remain safe, sovereign, and strong. The GN20 suffix isn't just a code, it's a symbol of customization. It means this version of the F404 is uniquely made for India. It's been adapted for Indian weather, optimized for Indian missions, and integrated into Indian systems. Think about that, a US-made engine, tailored to Indian needs, powering an Indian-made aircraft. That's what defense diplomacy looks like in the 21st century, cooperation without compromise. And it's happening between two of the world's biggest democracies. To understand how big this moment is, you have to understand HAL's journey. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited isn't new to the game. Since independence, HAL has been the silent backbone of India's defense aviation, manufacturing MiGs, Sukhois, Jaguars, and now the indigenous Tejas. It's the same company that took on the impossible, building modern fighter jets in a developing economy that many once doubted could ever do it. From assembling aircraft under license to now designing and producing indigenous fighters, HAL's journey mirrors India's own transformation. This GE deal is HAL's coming of age moment, proof that India can design, develop and deploy high performance jets at world class standards. The timing of this deal is not coincidental. The Indian Air Force faces an urgent challenge. Its fleet is aging. Dozens of MiG-21s and Jaguar jets are reaching the end of their operational life. At a time when regional tensions are rising, India needs new, reliable squadrons fast. That's where the Tejas Mark 1A comes in. Light, agile and packed with advanced avionics, it's designed to fill that critical gap. And now, with GE supplying 24 engines every year, India can produce one full Tejas squadron annually, ensuring the Air Force never runs short of strength. For the first time, India has a secure, consistent, long-term engine supply chain. No delays, no dependencies, just pure acceleration. But let's be clear, no revolution is without challenges. Building 113 engines and integrating them flawlessly into 97 fighters is a massive task. Maintaining supply lines, ensuring quality, and managing cost efficiency, each of these is a battle of its own. Then there's the long game. Developing indigenous engines that can power next generation fighters like the Tejas MK2 or the AMCA stealth jet. Yet, if HAL has proven one thing, it's resilience. And with GE's expertise, India is better equipped than ever to cross these hurdles. Beyond technology, this deal carries deep geopolitical weight. As global alliances shift and military blocs evolve, defense partnerships have become tools of diplomacy. By deepening ties with the US, India sends a clear message to its neighbors that it is not dependent, but dynamic, not reactive, but proactive. For Washington, it's a step toward reinforcing a democratic ally in the Indo-Pacific, a region that's becoming the focal point of 21st century power politics. In a world divided by trade wars, sanctions, and shifting loyalties, this partnership stands as a model of strategic synergy and shared trust. 